the headlines. Chief Minister N. Biren inaugurates new office of SP Traffic Police. And mother and daughter killed in drought mischief at Nongren Mayailekai, Angry Mob Block Road. Welcome to ISTV News. Now the news in detail. Chief Minister of Manipur N. Biren today inaugurated the office of SP Traffic Police at the complex of City Police, MG Avenue. The inauguration was held as part of the 100 Days Achievement Program of New Coalition Government led by BJP in the state to be announced on June 25th, that is tomorrow. Parliamentary Secretary Home El Sosindro, Parliamentary Secretary Mahut Nahakpam Indrazit, Additional Chief Secretary Home Dr. Suresh Babu, DZP LM Kaute and top officials of Manipur Police attended the inaugural function. K. Sharma Devi has been appointed as SP Traffic and she will look after the traffic system in both Imphal West and East districts. In an unfortunate incident, mother and daughter riding on Activa two-wheeler were killed in a road mishap that occurred at Nongren Mayalekai under the jurisdiction of Lamlai Police Station around 8.30 this morning. They have been identified as Kumanlambam Bizenti, aged 30, and her three-year-old daughter K.H. Bhima, residents of Nongren Mayalekai. According to reports culled from the spot, a Tata truck collided with the Activa in which Bizenti, along with her daughter, was heading to her maternal home at Potsangbam, driven by her husband. The registration number of the Tata truck is MN07C3588. The police have arrested a truck driver in connection with the road mischief. Angry mob of Nongren Mayalekai blocked the road in the area in protest against the incident. Forest and Environment Minister T. Sham Kumar today inaugurated newly constructed girls' hostels of Moirang Burel High School and Azad Higher Secondary School and 10 new classrooms for each of the schools in Andro constituency. The new hostels and classrooms were constructed under the Ministry of Minorities. Secretary of Ministry of Minorities Amai Singh Luikam, Parliamentary Secretary of Commerce and Industries Asap Udin, Additional Chief Secretary J. Suresh Babu, Deputy Commissioner of Imphal East District T. S. Chitra, and Director of MOBC K. S. Dinesh Chandra also attended the inaugural function. The construction of the hostels and classrooms began in the year 2015 and 2016. Speaking on the occasion, Secretary, Ministry of Minorities, Amai Singh Luikam said, students should learn with a career objective. Parents, on the other hand, should guide their children with respect to their ambition. The students may face difficulty in future if the parents do not guide their children properly today. In a speech, Minister Sham Kumar said, the BJP-led government will be 100 days old tomorrow. The government has already started translating its assurances into action. The efforts of the government and the residents of Itham Morangpuril to make the schools functional are fruitful today. It is indeed a matter of pride that the government has been able to make a school function properly in the area inhabited by people of different communities, the minister said. <laughs> Sigi pandam dah kui, tahu ni. Anak buku kami sana, kui kami tidak. Anak buku kami pada tahun yang si, si lebih tahun ki, infrastruktur yang si, si cakap lama. Kerja kerja cakap lama, lebih tahun cakap lama. Kerja kerja ni, human resource ni, hair ni, push security ni. Aku mesti cakap tu lepas aku cakap pergi apa? First kali tadi push security, kui cerita si, kuat apa tak? Ani supaya education, hair. DC of Imphal West Ningtozam Geoffrey has said that students have great responsibility in trying to make a better society. He was speaking at the inaugural function of the state level essay writing competition organized by District Social Welfare Office, Imphal West held at Lingtoingam Behold DC complex. The competition was organized in connection with the International Day Against Drug Abuse and Illicit Trafficking 2017 to be observed on June 26. The essay writing competition was held in two categories. Hundreds of students participated in the competition. DC, DC and Geoffrey further said, the young generation should understand the negative impact of drug abuse in order to make a drug abuse free state. 
The essay writing competition was organized with an objective of making the students aware of the adverse effects of drug abuse, the DC said. <laughs> An interaction program on the theme Nayi Roshni was held at MDS Hall at Secured Office Complex, Chingmerong. The interaction program was jointly organized by National Institute of Public Cooperation and Child Development and Ministry of Women and Child Development under Ministry of Minority Affairs. Joint Secretary of Ministry of Minority Affairs, Neera Singh, Director of MoMA, Dhanalakshmi and Under Secretary of MOBC, Adya Singh, were the main guests at the inaugural function. Deputy Director of MOBC M. Dhammo Singh said, The main objective of Nayi Roshni is to give power to the women community to enable them to stand independently. Old Manipur Elementary School Teachers Association still continues its fast unto that protest that began from June 21 last at Kuyatong Pukrimapal. Convener of the association, L. Nabakumar, said the association has been demanding regularization of 175 downgraded teachers, clearance of 10 months' salary, and requisition on the basis of qualification. The fast unto that will continue until the demands are fulfilled, the convener asserted. <laughs> BZP Manipur Pradesh has formed a committee with the objective to save Nambul River and Loktak Lake under the project of Namo River and Loktak Lake and the committee will have to look after the management of rivers and Loktak Lake. CH Chidananda has been appointed as convener of the committee. Speaking to media persons at the office of the BJP at Nitei Pa Chutek, Convener Chidananda spoke about the objective of the committee and what steps to be taken up in the project in detail. Problem long number one. Kaiyu ki thoyo problem. Manipur ki ising isau ki ledo problem singa sida. Manipur sarkar na kari thorang packet ka duri boina packet ingi basi kari nu hai bado ai koi khangdu aga madu. Bharat ya janata party BJP ki maikai idhi madu thabo koi na thu nu onthok po yana ruda magta marile na basinga. Tangai fadah di madu ki acang wa senpam singa do Bharat Sarkar dah koi tu na Bharat Sarkar di magi mari le na bolu sing sing da madu ki acang wa senpam singa do putok tu na putok piraga. A house was reduced to ashes at Lamtai Kunawa Juribam around 7:30 last night. Property worth more than two lakh rupees has been destroyed in the fire. Speaking to media persons, owner of the house Chowbihal has drawn attention of the government to extend help. Residents of Langol today staged a sudden protest at Langol Game Village against the killing of Lekolal Haukip, president of Haukip Students Organization at Langol Game Village Zone 1 last night. The residents have decided not to receive the lifeless body of Lekolal Haukip until and unless the accused involved in the killing are arrested within 48 hours. Speaking to media persons, wife of late Lekola said her husband was a sincere and courageous person and he always worked for the justice. She expressed her desire to clarify for what reason her husband was killed at the earliest. She further said she fears that such incident may happen to her two years old son. She drew the attention of the state government to look into the matter. Today I want to share a few lines of my thoughts. My husband is a courageous man. Fearless in speaking out the truth. How will my child's future be secured now? I want justice to be done in this regard. On the other hand, Chairperson of Kuki Women Welfare Association, Chong Boy Hang Sung said, such types of incidents have happened frequently in the past at Langol Game Village. 
Besides, memorandum has been submitted to the authority concerned to open a police station at the area. However, no positive action has been taken up by the authority concerned till today. She further said, if a police station is open at the area, no such crime will be happen, she said. Adik matang tak? Asyik umpat tahu tu se mama ubi sing. Adik game se game rest leri. Bambanya am nak kandem tu ubi habis se ipung tu seneng bni. Aduh, angang ni segi. Mama gini pi angang sisu. Mama gini gomen na tu pun tuk pak. Adik gini hari gini gomen na tu ramda leri su. Hujik anu pak gomen sena. Please station ama payah thambio. Aduh, tunggi future gini demak tak. Mama gini pi angang family gini su tu pun tuk pak tu bio. Aku yam ti nama. Meanwhile, KSO General Headquarters also strongly condemned the killing of Lett Kalal. Speaking to media persons at Kuki Inn, President of the organization, Pao Ting Tang Lu Feng, said people will no more tolerate frequent attack on the leaders of the civil society organizations. Such incidents have hampered peace and harmony in the society. He further said, those persons involved in the killing should, give, should be given appropriate reasons why Let Kulal was murdered. Family members will not accept the dead body until suspected persons were not arrested within 48 hours. KSO warned of launching stringent agitations if the persons involved are not arrested within 48 hours. The individual or group responsible for the killing to state the High Court Bar Association and Manipur State Legal Services Authority today planted saplings at High Court Complex under the Swas Bharat Abhiyan. Judge of Manipur High Court Justice Kodishor expresses views on the occasion. Mulushan gini, anu bamo semkar pamo darkal lay, madhu ki cycle do koin maintain tavo ngam dargadi, tavo ki punsi sida, yam akai bamo lakani madhu ki bakhalon khallaga koin na uchara thabo ki asi function chagun tauje bani. The Manipuri Sahitya Parishad Imphal observes its 83rd Foundation Day at the Literature Center at DM College. Floral tributes were paid to the late members of the Parishad. Those who won the Sahitya Academy Award, Sangit Natak Award and Ustad Bismillah Khan Award for the year 2016 were also honored as part of the observance. A health camp was held at Harauro Community Hall, jointly organized by BJP Imphal East District and CMO Imphal East. The medical camp was organized to prevent from spreading diseases due to the recent flood at Harauro and adjoining villages in Kundrakpam Assembly constituency. BJP candidate Mohan Rao, who contested in the recent general election, said the health camp was organized in view of the people's requirement. The 10th Lead Justice Nong Thombam Surasmani Singh Memorial Painting Competition was held at Kagempali Pankha for two days. The painting competition was organized by family of Lead Justice Nong Thombam Surasmani, held in three categories. More than 350 students participated in the competition. Talking to media persons on the occasion, Justice and Surasmani's son, Advocate Anik said his father had great affection for children and loved painting. The painting competition was held for the 10th time in loving memory of his father. Member of Executive Committee of Students Welfare Association, Manipur University of Culture, Y. Humesor has resented a statement made by the Minister of Art and Culture while participating in the celebration of World Music Day at Lamyanba Sangland that people don't know where the university is located and what its norms are. He said, the students have already been facing various challenges as the university has just been set up. Amid such difficulties, the minister's statement has made the students of the university furthermore dejected. The Native Ethics Empowerment Human Resources Association felicitated the three Tangta artists who backed medals in the 6th Tangta Federation Cup 2017 held at Agra from June 15 to 18 last. The felicitation program was held at Native Ethics Empowerment Human Resources Association Moirang Sai Center at Moirang Koiro Lekai. The Tangta Federation Cup 2017 was organized by UP Tangta Federation under the aegis of Tangta Federation of India. Altogether, 16 teams participated in the competition where the three Tangta artists represented Manipur. Councillor of Ward No. 10, Moirang Municipal Council, Moirang Tem Bina, 
President of Moirang Assembly Youth Congress, M. Sarat, and many others attended the felicitation program. The Tangta medalists were presented gifts and honored for this achievement on the occasion. Parliamentary Secretary Asaf Udin has presented gifts to the inmates of widow and orphan homes at Taubal Hayal Lubuk in connection with the upcoming Eid Festival. President of Amukok Jalal, SDPO Yaripok and Pradhan of Kangabok Gram Panchayat also attended the gift presentation program. Jilmang Tautang, Chief of Mission Wang, has alleged that even though work order for construction of weaving center at Mission Wang, More Ward No. 2 has been issued, contractor Asam Kong has not taken up the project even though the order has been issued one year ago. The CAP project was taken up by 11 Assam rifles under the 26th sector AR. The village chief drew the attention of the authority concerned to look into the matter. On the other hand, the construction of water supply scheme under CAP project at B. Bongzang village in Ternopil has also not been begun. Contractor Asang Kong has started placing stand and stones for construction. However, the construction work has not yet begun. Nine solar lights set up at the village by the contractor have not been functioning due to the small size battery. A six month old long Handloom weaving training course organized jointly by Commerce and Industrials Department, Kangpopi District, and Southern Hills Autonomous District Council, Kangpopi, at the whole of Old District Council at Kangpopi headquarters was held yesterday. Vice Chairman of ADC, Southern Hills, Tangzakam Misau, officials of Commerce and Industrials Department, Kangpopi, and many trainees took part in the training program. Addressing the gathering, Tangzakam Misau said, the six months training program will definitely help the weavers in Kangpopi district. The National Highway No. 2 Imphal Dimapur Road has been found in bad shape due to lack of retaining walls and drainage system along the highway. The condition of roads at Kangpopi and Senapati headquarters are found in dilapidated condition. The residents of the areas drew attention of the authority concerned to look into the matter and do the needful at the earliest. And now the headlines once again. Chief Minister Enviren inaugurates new office of SB Traffic Police. And mother and daughter killed in drought mishap at Nongren Mayalekai, angry mob block road. That's all for today and thanks for being with us.